The BioFlux system utilizes microfluidic devices called BioFlux plates, which feature the proprietary well plate microfluidic technology. Each BioFlux plate comes in a pre-sterilized SPS well plate format. BioFlux plates come in a variety of designs and formats, but each works in a similar fashion. Each plate contains an array of micron scale flow channels which run along the bottom of the plate. The wells of the plate serve as reservoirs for the reagents going into and out of the flow channels. Here we are showing the 48 well high shear plate. This plate contains 24 experimental flow channels, each connecting to an input well and an output well. Fluidic reagents, such as cells, proteins, and drug compounds are loaded into the wells using standard pipetters or other liquid handling instruments. Once the wells are loaded, the BioFlux pressure interface is attached to the well plate. This creates a pressure-tight seal around each of the wells on the plate. A user-defined shear flow is entered into the BioFlux software, which creates a precisely regulated air pressure from the BioFlux controller. The controller contains a software-controlled pump, which distributes pressure to the wells of the BioFlux plate. The air pressure is transferred via the pneumatic tubing to the pressure interface. Once the well sees this increased pressure, the reagent will flow through the port at the bottom of the well and along the direction of the flow channel. Once the reagent clears the flow channel, it will begin to pool up in the output well. In this manner, a variety of cell ligand and cell-cell assays can be performed. Prior to the experiment, coatings such as cell adhesion and extracellular matrix protein molecules can be introduced. The coating is introduced into the inlet well and, using pneumatic pressure, flowed through the channel and allowed to incubate. The excess coating is removed and a washing buffer is introduced. The channel is now coated and ready for the rest of the experiment. Cellular monolayers can be formed on the bottom surface to perform cellular interaction studies. Cells in suspension are introduced into the channel and allowed to settle. The cells are allowed to attach and form a tight monolayer under controlled temperature and environmental conditions. At this point, additional circulating cells can be added into the chamber under controlled shear flow. Some BioFlux plates have an additional input well, which allows a second reagent to be introduced, such as a washing buffer, media, or drug compound. These two sources can be dynamically switched to allow for time-resolved addition of reagents or drug compounds. The two input channels can also be added simultaneously to enable applications such as wound healing and chemotaxis. Each experimental channel has a dedicated viewing area which can be observed on an inverted microscope. BioFlux plates have 180 micrometer glass cover slip bottoms and are compatible with high resolution microscopy. Images can be acquired in bright field, phase, fluorescence, and confocal modalities. In summary, well plate microfluidic technology provides higher physiological relevance, increased throughput, simple, fast, and reliable setup procedure, and reduced reagent consumption.